Shalom on brothers and sisters, shalom on. Hey, uh, first and foremost, I want to turn to the east and give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutation to the 144, hopefully elect of Israel, who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, and the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever he goeth. Um, so, I, uh, this morning, brothers and sisters, I have a testimony. Um, hopefully it's going to be short and quick uh, with a few scriptures. And unlike, uh, unlike E, you know, with those damn commercials that always have you holding on to the edge of your seat trying to, uh, you know, wait. Oh, when we come back, we got to tell you what this is. I'm going to just go ahead and tell you the um, what it is, man, you know, uh, without beating around the bush. But first, <laughs> wait, <laughs> but first I want to read this one scripture, okay, just one scripture, man. Uh, yeah, so anyway, this, this is going to be based off of, uh, you know, really belief, because uh, you got to believe this uh, doctrine wholeheartedly uh, and then you also got to believe that the Lord you know has made everything unto himself for himself and he's in control of er absolutely everything okay um, you got to believe in that we don't have free will and I'm gonna link uh, you know to help you with that if you have trouble with that I'm gonna link um, mysteries of the kingdoms their uh, they're, they're live camp from Saturday, okay? Because, it, boy, them brothers went hard in onto uh, into uh, free will. And, you know, that's something to really get sit down and study on. Uh, you know, it, it was beautiful. So, this is anyway, this is Matthew chapter 13, verse 16. I'm going to, hopefully I don't need my glasses today. It says, blessed, but blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. Right? Because, like we always say, uh, this, this, this understanding of the scriptures at this particular time right before the Lord comes back to judge this wicked world you know this is grace and mercy uh, give us the time to repent this is a blessing for us to be working for the Lord and bringing out these scriptures and going out there uh, to uh, call in the lost 12 tribes of Israel to let the so-called African American the so-called Hispanic and Native American Indian know morning Mr. Hill that they are the lost 12 tribes of Israel so this is a serious blessing man and that's what this scripture is about so uh, what the testimony is, is that, uh, so yesterday, I got a text from my wife early in the morning. She asked me to come, uh, to come, she asked me if I could watch the kids for a while. You know, and I don't see the kids that much, at all. Uh, you know, so they've been raised by the system and by her. Uh, so I said, okay, of course. You know, and... Uh, <laughs> One second, we're gonna let Mr. Hill back up. Are we going there? I just wanted Mr. Hill to back up, so um, you get y'all can hear me. So I was, I was like, okay, yeah. So I went to get to get get the babies. You know, they're of good age. Um, they're not babies, but they're um, uh, right, right, right before teenage. You know, right before they become teenagers around in that area. So. I went to get them, but I had to go do a, just a little bit of work uh, yesterday, you know, so I, I had to take them with me. So I took them, 
and I asked my son, there's a, I'm a, working on like two condominiums, one on top of each other. And I finished with one on top and I'm starting on the one down below. But I'll, at the same time, I had to go over to another uh, place to do some work over there while the kids were with me. So I put them in these places so I can do this work over here so they wouldn't be in the way. And I asked my son to, you know, do something, you know, help. Uh, so I asked him to take the tools from upstairs to downstairs, right? Not 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 big heavy things, just uh, some sanders, some roller rollers, um, you know, stuff like that. So he said okay, and he uh, began. He got a, he got the pliers, he got the the, uh, the measuring tape and the, the hammer, right? That's what he got when I was walking out the door to go take care of the business across the street. So I come back about 10, 15 minutes later, and he's sitting on the couch. Uh, either watching he was watching TV or either on his phone and I looked around and everything's still there still there you know scattered among, around around the place so I asked him I said tell me what's I said man what's what's going on why you know you didn't do this that I asked you to um, and he got up and started doing it again you know so but I just went ahead and did. I just went ahead since I was there, and I made. I had. I ended up making like five or six trips. That's how much stuff it was. You know, a little small thing, not nothing heavy. But the when well, the first trip I made downstairs, and I started to walk down. I just. I was really. You know, I wasn't mad at all, but I was just very disappointed, man. Very disappointed at this small task that I asked my son to do. Okay. So. Now on the other side of that, now keep that in mind, I was very disappointed. On the other side of that, when I actually first had my children, I was very happy, extremely joyful. I could feel, the, and, and you know, raise them up from when they were young and small. You know, every time I look at them, I could just feel the love that I had for them. And I, I came to the understanding that, oh wow, look, this, I said, thank you, Yahweh Shimei Shah, for giving me these babies. This must be how you feel about us, you know, but maybe, you know, got to be, right? So the same way the Lord feels about, the same way we feel about our kids, the Lord must feel that, that way about us, you know, because we're in his own image, you know, of course. But then that level of disappointment, that's what this epistle is really about. Uh, and I, I was like, oh man, I, I hope the Lord doesn't feel that way about us. You know about me let me say me because um, you know I, I do my three videos a week like the elders have said but I can do more I can do more uh, I made this epistle a while back um, flame on you know I can I can go hotter you know are you hot for the Lord are you on fire for the Lord you know um, and you know how it is when when I first when we first came into the truth, you know, everything was, it was beautiful, everything's hot, you know, every, you're, 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 you're there a hundred percent, you know, and, um, I remember when I was reading this, when I had to eat the whole roll, I was reading it so fiery, uh, I was like, all my time was invested in it because at the time, man, I felt like the Lord was going to come back like next week and I'm like, please don't come back till I finish reading this old roll because I wanted to make sure I did everything I could to, you know, to please the Lord. So that's the spirit we must stay in. So at this same time, that same energy that I had reading the whole, eating the whole roll, should be, I should be using that same spirit to continue on, let me take this, continue on, you know, the way it should, you know what I'm saying? Continue on. But anyway, this is um, so 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. It says, Preach the word. Wait, let's let's go to 1. I, ch I charge thee therefore before Yahweh Shai and, the, and Yahweh Shai, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing in his kingdom. And so he charged us. It says, Preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine, right? All right, so that's what we're that's what we're charged to do. That's what we're commanded to do is to do these things. Okay, um, and I got okay here. I got the, in, the, in the dictionary here. Uh, you know, I tried to use the Nelson's dictionary, but it don't have these words, these little simple words here, in it for some reason. 
uh, I think it had one. It had one, but so I have to get my other dictionaries, and that's why it's a good idea to have more than one dictionary uh, if you can. And I got these from like a, a, a thrift store type place or like a Goodwill type place. Um, this is uh, the definition for rebuke: to criticize, to reprove sharply. Okay. Obsolete to check. Okay. To sharp reproof. Okay, so look to criticize, to reprove sharply. Now we're gonna get uh, re to we're gonna get reprove as well, real quick. Reprove is to rebuke for a fault or misdeed, scold to find fault with. Okay. So. We're finding fault with E because E is on trial that now. We're, we're doing all these things uh, because the E's on trial. We're criticizing his ass and also anybody else that comes around here with, the, with, the, with another doctrine. So, okay. So it says, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering. And then exhort is to urge, to incite by strong argu argument. Advice or appeal, and ad, not ad, admonish earnestly. He exhorts his crews to take a good night's rest. So we're gonna urge you, urge you. We're urging the brothers to stay fervent in the in the in the in the in the, uh, in, the in the scriptures. You know, to do all you can for the Lord, to to have faith in the Lord. We're we're urging the people, you know, to come in and and. Uh, and uh, c come to the marriage, you know what I'm saying, so to speak. And I hope I'm getting this point across uh, properly, brothers and sisters. Um, okay. And then uh, I wanted to go over here to. It was just the whole thing yesterday was really spiritual. Okay, I I just it was just really spiritual and. Um, you know, it just means because this the time is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Uh, we're supposed to be flooding that YouTube because uh, hopefully the other countries are watching these these epistles and they're gonna get the understanding of who this devil is. You know, without a shadow of a doubt. You know what I'm saying? Without was it was it called reasonable? Ah, oh, shit! Damn it! That thing when you're on on, on trial. Um, Without a reasonable doubt, man, that this is the devil. And anybody else that sees these epistles would know that, hey, this is the devil, dude. You know, these scriptures are, are correct. So this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. Okay. Uh, we have in the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe and therefore leave, have, and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. Okay. Okay. Let me read it one more time. So this is Second Corinthians chapter um, four, verse thirteen. We have in the same spirit of faith, according. As it is written, I believe and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak, knowing that he which rise up, Yahweh Shai, shall rise up us also by Yahweh Shai and shall present us with you. Okay, so we don't have nothing to worry about. Uh, that's why we should go for it all the way, man, because the Lord is in control of everything, even the sword, even Esau Edom. Okay, for all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might be. Through the thanksgiving of many, rebound to the glory of Yahweh Shem uh, For which cause we faint not, but through our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Okay? For our light afflictions, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceedingly internal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So we we're doing all these things to usher in and, and do the work for the Lord, man. So that you know, we we will be we will be glorified. You'll be like, hey, this this is my son. My son did a good job, man. Did y'all see all that stuff? So you want to 
do everything you can while we're here before it's all done. Before you don't you know you want to go all in for this man. There ain't no way around it. Okay, uh, hold on. Okay, now for this one we're going to go to uh, Ephesians chapter 11 verse 16. I want to say something. I want to say something else too after I read this, man. Well, I'm going to say it now. Uh, because he gave us all a measure of faith, right? And uh, a level of understanding and knowledge. Yes, yeah, study to show yourselves approved. Um, and you're going to get better and better with the faith. But at the, at the present time, whatever you have, go for it. That's why the apostles say, hey, if you... No five scriptures, man. Get out on the highways and hedges with them five scriptures. Just make sure that you're bringing them out correctly. Uh, and as for me, I don't know much, but hey, I, I, what what I have, I just I, I'm trying to do the best I can. So uh, hopefully the Lord puts the spirit on me to, to to do more and more as as much as I can while we, while we have this time. Okay. So this is Ephesians chapter four, verse eleven, and He gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. For the perfecting of the saints, for the working of the ministry, for the edifying of the body, and Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay? So, we all have different stages and different levels, alright? So, just work with what you got. And it's for the perfecting of the saints, for the working of the ministry, for the edifying of the body, okay? Because every brother, you know, have this uh, little, little characters about themselves, so, you know... That's why, you know, some teachers we be like, yeah, that's, you know, I, you know, that teacher be bringing it out and, you know, the way they speak and I, I, you know, I really can relate to that, you know, because everybody's got something, but we all fit tightly together. Till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of Yahweh Hashim al Shai, to a perfect man and to the measure of the statue of the fullness of Yahweh Hashim al Shai. Okay? That we... Hence more, henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of hand, men and cunning craftiness whereby we lie and wait to deceive. Because in doing this, you're making no more room for all these uh, uh, these false prophets and all this stuff because the truth is being is being uh, flooded in the earth, man. Okay? Uh, because everybody's doing their part. Uh, and this is going to be the last scripture here. This is Matthew chapter 22 verse 9. Y'all know what this is. It says, Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as you find, bid them to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together as many as they found, both bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw that there was a man which had not on a wedding garment. And he said unto him, Friend, how comest thou in hither, not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said the king to the servants, Bid him, bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping of national teeth, for many are called, but few are chosen. So we're looking for, we're just planting the seed, and how about Shimei Shai will give the increases. Um, just like at camp last week, I had this dude that's been coming by, and I just, you know, I've been giving him a little bit of money here, you know, but I'm saying, I'm not, I, said, I told him, I said, I'm not giving you no more money, man. Because you're either going to be here um, for the word. Therefore, you're going to not be just hearers of the word, but, but a doer of the word, man. So, because I, I really suspect, I can't judge him, but I suspect the dude doing, uh, taking that money and doing drugs with it. Because, you know, and I, I'm not into that, man. So, because we, we, we're putting away that old man. But I'm not going to enable someone like that. If you're going to... You know, hey, no. Ask the Lord for what you want. If you need something, you gotta, you gotta change, brother. You gotta repent, and that's what we're coming out here. We, we, we ain't taking. We, we're not. No, we're not taking it, man. I'm not taking. We're not taking it. It's the hundred percent truth of the scriptures, man. All right, and we have to, we have to, we have to change. We have to do what the Lord requires us to do. We can't be lukewarm or uh, um, what an unstable. Toss to and fro. You're either in it or you're not. Okay? So, that's, hey, it's, it, it worked out perfectly. So, I want to give all honors and praises to you. How about Shimei Al Shai? Uh, double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone.
I gotta do I gotta do that correctly. I can't I can't rush that. I wanna give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakadash. I wanna give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real, teaching us everything we know through the spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Al Shai. Uh, salutation to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, and the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever we go. Shalom, Israel. Now, I hope this lesson was edifying. Okay. All right. Bye bye.